Let's get right to it. Every time I see this question, I laugh. What's the best laptop for machine learning? In the real world, we don't build production models on laptops. In the real world, we rapid prototype them on laptops, but that's done with a very small subset of data. Most real world machine learning models are built at scale, and most of that is done in the cloud or on really large on-prem servers. Honestly, any modern laptop you can afford can be used to learn any data role, including machine learning. So, there's no such thing as the best laptop for machine learning. Any modern laptop can handle toy problems, which is what you're going to learn with. Additionally, when you get a job in the real world, rarely, if ever, do you get to bring your own laptop. Every company I've ever worked for decided what laptop you'll be using. Many companies only use one operating system, like Windows. All right, so what if you're just starting out and you're really looking for a laptop that you can use to learn data analysis and machine learning on? Maybe you're in college, and maybe you need some advice on the best laptop you can use for your schoolwork and for preparing for a data-related career. And I can help you out with that. The best deal for your money right now is any Apple laptop with the M1 chip. If you're on a budget, I get the M1 Air. I have several laptops, including one of these, and it's awesome. From a durability perspective, these laptops blow anything I've ever used out of the water. From a performance perspective, the same thing. The M1 chip handles almost everything I throw at it. All right, what if you need Windows for some reason? Then you can simply purchase a program like Parallels. This provides you with the ability to install Windows on your Mac. You can then easily switch between the two of them. This is a great way to learn both operating systems. If you're going to work in IT, you're going to need to know a good bit about both Windows and Mac OS. If you can afford the MacBook Pro, then get one of those. Get the best Mac you can afford with the M1 chip. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.